What's good? This made me the magazine and this prison stories. And today prison story, you know, I'm in traffic, man. Just checked in with my PO. So we just gonna talk on some random topics. Um, I was like, while well, I'm in this traffic, I might as well do a video, you know. But yeah, um, Oh, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been speaking about that, about this in my live recently, um, you know, about the whole YSL thing, you know, about people that, that validate themselves as gang members, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, anybody, that, any person that ever did any type of time, you know, from prison to jail to juvenile, you know, when they bring you in, they ask you, you have any enemies, need, we need to, um, you have any enemies, you know, you worried about, or, um, you know, you gang affiliation, anything. And, you know, all my uncles and OGs and shit, you know, around my, around my way, you know, they always told me, you know, don't ever let them validate you as a gang member, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, for doing that, you know, um, you gotta have some type of heart. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I say, say you gotta have some type of heart is because, you know, in gangs, it's it's a lot of coward, coward niggas in gangs. Um, you know, I was always told cowards run in packs. Um, nowadays, these, these new, you know, these younger niggas in these gangs, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was coming up, a motherfucker want that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, nigga be like, nigga, let me get a one-on-one, -on -one, even if he outnumbered, he gonna get that one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, one-on-one -on -one is unheard of, especially if, if, if the person outnumbered, it ain't no, it ain't no more one-on-ones, um, especially behind them bars, you know what I'm saying? I done, like, it be ridiculous, you know, I done seen whole football squads, sometimes 10, 11, 12 people rushing the cell, packing nigga out and everything. So, what I'm getting to is, um, once they validate you as a gang member in California, they got a thing called gang enhancements. So, let's just say, you know, um, you in the mall and you run into an op and y'all start fighting. You know what I'm saying? And, and y'all both go, and y'all both get you know, get locked up or whatever for it. And, and y'all both documented as gang members. So then they gonna put the charges, um, uh, you know, the assault might be a misdemeanor assault or, or uh, assault, but that gang enhancement, that's an automatic 10 years felony. You know what I'm saying? I done seen people in, in county, you know what I'm saying, jump, I mean, dude didn't even, nah, it wasn't a jump. Dude didn't jump him. See, what happened was, it was a nigga from, um, I think he said he was from Arkansas. A nigga, I mean, you know what I'm saying? He was saying he was from Arkansas, but somebody else that was up in, you know what I'm saying, in the county was like, nah, he lying. You know, he from somewhere else. You know, and he, he he's a, he's a, you know, he banged this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even put what he banging and all that out there and it ain't important but um so the dude that was his celly ended up putting hands on him you know what I'm saying gave him a little shiner and all that shit so when them niggas coming around dude and count dude keep on like trying to not to look and you know he, he made it like probably like two counts after the, the third count the CO was a little more thorough with his job so when they he going around and flashing his flashlight up in the in the you know up in the rooms and trying you know do head counts, he want to see your face. <laughs> so at first dude looking down, I guess, and I guess he seen his face. So next thing you know, he called him outside the cell. So he called him outside the cell, walked to the side and and um, asked the inmate. He like, you, you good? You okay? And the inmate. Then answer him, but kind of gave him that little puppy dog look, you know, kind of that sad look, like help me type look, you know, nigga help. 
So he pulled him out. Um, next thing you know, uh, they they pulled the dude out, you know, separate him. Probably about next 10, 15 minutes, it's, it's four guards coming up back to the cell, you know, where the dude, you know, where the dude left from. Pull out, you know, the supposed, allegedly dude that, you know, roughed him up. So, you know, he get ad book, got charged, but, you know what I'm saying? Um, next thing, you know, he going to court for the shit and he coming back mad as fuck, like, nigga, these niggas gave me 14 years for a fight. Nobody ain't die. No bones was broken. I mean, well, he did get a black eye, but 14 years for a fight. Four years for the fight. 10 years enhancement for, you know, for it being a gang, for a gang thing crazy right um so yeah man you know every time i get booked man it'll go down you know what i'm saying they ask me where i'm from and all that shit man i i ain't from nowhere you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm from san francisco you know if you want to get technical you know i'm from hate street you know or i'm from you know i'm from wherever the white people are i'm not i'm not you know you're not supposed to validate me as no gang i mean as no gang member you know i'm not no gang member you ain't gonna validate this being in no gang you know, once I, when I hit county, the pen or wherever, you know, I'm at, you can put me wherever I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Put, shit, put me in the op tank from what y'all call the op tank. You know what I'm saying? Um, see, I look at ops different. You know, I look at ops different, man. Um, my ops ain't from, you know, you know, I, I, I went through that phase, you know what I'm saying? As a teenager and as a young nigga, you know, from, 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 nine, 10 years old, up to probably about 16, 17, you know what I'm saying? But once you, once you keep going, getting locked up, going to jail, you know what I'm saying? And especially when you hit the pen, it ain't no ops up in there. Ain't no op shit, you know? You know, the blacks, all y'all riding together. The niggas from the other side that you thought you had problems with, y'all busting spreads with each other, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know, um, Lead that shit on the streets. That's what they say when you're in the pen. You know, lead that shit in the streets. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I done fucked with niggas. I never thought I'd, you know, have a conversation with. And, and turn out, you know, niggas cool, <laughs> cool. You know, niggas cool as fuck. So, you know, I don't, I don't look at that option. You know, from where you from. You know, what I mean, it ain't about where you from. It's how you come. Um, you know, obviously. I, I chose respect to everybody, you know, um, and I, did, you know, I make sure I get the same respect, you know. But yeah, shit.